Hello everybody, Mobius1 here bringing you a June of 2018 channel update video. Now normally when I post a channel update video it doesn't usually have anything to do with Star Wars Galaxies. It's more about what's going on in the real world with me and my real life stuff. But um, it's been so long since I've posted a channel update video. It's actually been so long since I've posted any video. I think this... Uh, the past two months were the longest I've gone without posting a video on my channel since I started on YouTube. Because of that, we're kind of going to talk a little bit about everything that's going on in this video. Before I get into the gaming stuff, I do want to talk a little bit about what's been going on in my personal life. Those of you that have been with me for a while now know that I just got a new job as an air traffic controller and that's been going great. I had to go to training for it back in October. I spent uh, three months in Oklahoma City, October, November, December. And then like the first week and a half of January, I was in Oklahoma. I passed training. Only about a third of our class ended up passing. I got assigned to a facility in Pennsylvania. Exactly where, I'm not going to say. Those of you that know me know that I'm from New Jersey. So getting put in Pennsylvania is not bad because I'm not that far from home. And uh, I travel out to Takora's house every once in a while. She lives in the Pittsburgh area. So it's kind of kind of worked out for me in that situation. I've been here since towards the end of January, so it's been about five months now since I've been here. I got my own apartment, which at some point I'll do a walkthrough for you guys, I guess. But right now there really isn't much to show. I just have a little uh, folding desk set up for my computer set up. I got a dining room table and chairs. I got a crappy little 4x3 Panasonic TV that I think was made in the 90s and uh, I got my bedroom set up but uh, that's really it. I don't have a nice television. I don't even have a couch yet and yeah I've been here since January but uh, it's I spend most of my time either here at the computer at my dining room table eating or in bed sleeping so I really just haven't had the need to go out and furnish much more of my apartment yet but uh, I do want to improve some things around here I definitely need some better lighting uh, I don't know how blurry or fuzzy I look with the green screen right now but that's just because it's such crappy lighting in here right now that in order to get the green screen effect working I had to turn a lot of like the um, I don't know I had to mess with some of the camera settings and I think it makes me look a little fuzzy around the outside but Whatever, that, uh, I'm sure that'll get done at some point. I'm on the first floor of a 2-4 apartment building, so if you hear people walking around upstairs... I can't hear them now, but I can't really do anything about that. As far as the job itself goes, it's going pretty well. I'm still technically a trainee. Uh, it's probably going to be another year and a half before I'm fully certified on every position there. Without going into too much detail, because I'm sure if people want to know more, they'll either ask me about it in comments, or maybe I'll do a live stream where I talk about it, but the basic gist is different uh, airports, depending on how busy they are, have different number of positions that air traffic controllers can work, and the particular facility that I'm at now has five different positions. Since January, I've certified on the two easiest positions and I'm almost about halfway through training on the third. Once I get certified on this third position, I actually have to go back to Oklahoma City for a five week uh, radar training course. And then I get to come back to my facility and certify on the two most challenging positions, uh, which is probably going to be, I don't know how long that's gonna take, quite a while. But overall, it's it's fun. It's challenging. Uh, I've already broken a sweat several times uh, during some of the busier sessions. So uh, those those of you that have heard, you know, like air traffic control is one of the most stressful jobs. I don't I don't know if it's the most stressful job, but I've definitely seen a couple of uh, a couple of busy sessions where, yeah, I can imagine walking away from it and uh, and needing to take a nap. So the reason I want to talk about that is because it, it kind of ties into the lack of videos that I've been putting out lately. My schedule is just, it ends up working out so that I don't really have a lot of time or energy to do videos. So then we have the weekend, which is today. I'm recording this video on my weekend and um, 
this is probably the best time for me to do videos, but I'm just so excited to not have to work on the weekend um, that I don't want to do videos. I want to play games and have fun. And I know that sounds kind of bad and kind of selfish because it is, but uh, it's that's just how I feel if I'm being honest with you. If I if I had somebody that was like like an editor to take the footage that I record and edit it for me and post it for me, maybe I would do more recording. But since I know whenever I record something that I then have to take the time and go in and edit it and render it and post it, uh, it really discourages me from wanting to do videos. And I'm sorry that that sounds really crappy, but uh, that's that's just the truth. Now I'm not saying that I'm like done making videos. That's absolutely not the case. And those of you that have talked to me on Discord know that there were actually several times over the past two months that I got on and attempted to make a video. As a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago, my hard drive actually died. I had to go to Best Buy and get a new hard drive. So I just upgraded to a solid state drive for the first time and I love it, it's pretty awesome. Definitely notice a difference on my loading times. But that's just one example of like something that got in the way of me making an update video. And luckily here I am, fingers crossed that this recording doesn't get corrupted or something stupid happen. But uh, I just reinstalled my video editing software and Star Wars Galaxies and everything yesterday so I'm back up and running with all this again I was able to copy all my configured files uh, over from an old backup so I didn't have to redo any of my keybinds or remake any of my macros thank god however it had been about a month since I signed into galaxies so what's the first thing that I notice when I sign into galaxies my mail and there's some pretty unpleasant mails waiting for me in my inbox. Um, and the worst thing is they, they weren't sent by players. They were actually system messages uh, wanting to tell me that... Uh, oh, you can't even see it. Unfortunately, since we had uh, dropped below a certain number of citizens in University Campus, uh, as you can see across the little crater here where normally our city hall stands uh, there is there is no building here anymore yeah so this is uh, unfortunately not an April Fool's Day joke I did do an April Fool's Day video I think two or three years ago where I made a character on the test server and placed a couple of houses and made it look like that I was deleting the guild or deleting the city or something and um, a lot of people panicked and then when they found out it was an April Fool's Day prank they were all relieved uh, this is unfortunately not a prank the guild hall is gone university campus is actually gone um, and everything that was in the city hall when it popped is gone which included uh, all of my bounty hunter armor pieces granted I didn't have a lot they were mostly armbands like bracers and a belt and uh, I think a pair of boots and like some gloves I didn't have a helmet or a chest plate or anything like that so nothing like that expensive there uh, unfortunately though there was also all of my jetpack components were in there. So I believe two jetpack bases and like three to four of all the other jetpack components like the ducted fan and the fuel injection, whatever, uh, the jetpack stabilizer, all of those. Uh, for some dumb reason, I kept them in the city hall thinking that was where they would be safest instead of putting them in my guild hall. And um, yeah, those are gone. Uh, fortunately, like I said, the guild hall is still here. All of the houses that had maintenance in them that are purely dependent on maintenance are still around. Uh, and luckily in the guild hall is where I kept all of my veteran rewards. So you can see here I still have 
my uh, anti-decay kits. So if, you know, in the future we do another ADK giveaway, I still have them. I uh, still have, you know, some RIS armor, uh, Janta blood, all that stuff. Any, anything that I kept stored in my guild hall or just a house is still safe. But unfortunately, my jetpack components, my bounty hunter armor, and I think like the 8 or 10 million credits that were in the city hall's treasury uh, are all gone. So that was, that was kind of disappointing to sign back in for the first time in a month and notice that, but ultimately it is my fault. I can't really be upset at anybody besides myself uh, for that because I was the mayor, so I was responsible for making sure that we had the number of citizens we needed. It's just, uh, it's kind of depressing knowing that all that hard work is gone. Uh, makes me kind of wish for a basilisk wipe even sooner now, but uh, I know that's not going to happen either. Anyway, so since the city is gone and uh, there aren't really a whole lot of active members in the SWGU community anymore, I'm considering the idea of disbanding and reforming the guild. If you look at our guild information window here, it says we have 469 members. Uh, like if I look at the member list, it's not. It's going to take a second to load because there's so many members. Um, I don't know how many of these people are active anymore. I can't imagine more than 10 of you still play. Or if you do, you're playing on alts that are in more active guilds than mine. So I think probably the smartest thing to do at this point, like look at how long this is taking to load the member list. This is ridiculous. Hello? Is anybody home? Anyway, uh, I think disbanding and reforming the guild is probably a good idea. There it is. Seriously, that's... Is that insane or what? So look at all the number of people that we have in here. Yeah, I would, I would definitely venture to say that more than two-thirds of this list don't play anymore. So... If you, uh, if you are a member of the guild and you do want to remain in the guild, just send me a mail in-game. I don't know exactly when I'm going to be doing this or if I'm going to be doing this, but I think it's, it's probably a good idea to do a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, just clean the list up because obviously I'm not playing the game enough anymore to really sustain a guild. So SWGU is more of a community than it is a guild. Uh, like we don't have guild events or anything like that, but I don't want to get rid of it completely. Like we still have the SWGU engine website. Um, we still, I still have my own public discord, which you can find the link for in the video description below, uh, which is open to anybody, by the way, not just guild members. Um, yeah, I'm just, I think it's time. I think it's been, it's been a couple of years now. And there's no real easy way to track who's active or not anymore. So, time to do some spring cleaning, I think. Other than that, I'm still playing some other games whenever I have time, like Hearthstone. Still playing it. I have a Hearthstone video that I just recorded earlier that uh, I'm going to edit and post. I'm playing Escape from Tarkov a lot lately. It's fun, but uh, I don't know how interested you guys are in watching it. If you want me to record and post some videos of that. Like, I already know most of the comments are going to be like, more SWG EMU videos, and I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to talk to some other players and see if maybe people want to help me do some videos, so it's not always just me talking the entire time. So we'll see if we can if we can get things rolling a little bit more than they have been lately. I, don't, I can't, you know, guarantee I'm going to be posting a video a week or a video a day or anything like that again, but I, I definitely want to have new content for people regardless of what it is um, and I do apologize to those of you that watch me strictly for my SWG videos but yeah uh, I don't really know what else to say in this video right now I feel like you're now up to date sort of on what's been going on in the life of Mobius I'll do my best to make sure you see more of me going forward and yeah uh, I just hope you guys enjoy my content whatever it is that's it for now though, Mobius1 here, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.